So let's learn what the force is. What type of forces do we have and what's the effect of force? Basically, when you try to push an object or pull an object, you are exerting force. So let's learn it as push or pull. Force is a vector quantity. It has magnitude and direction. The unit of force is Newton. There are a lot of forces around us, like the downward force of gravity, weight. Weight is always a force toward the center of the Earth. Weight is proportional to mass of the object. But in future videos, I will go over that important force in detail. The other force is the normal force. It's a kind of reaction of the surface the object is on. A normal force is always normal to the surface, not against the weight. Be very careful. Yeah, in, the, in this picture, you may see that N is against the weight, but it's not always that. For instance, when the object is at rest or moving on a ramp, the normal force is just normal to the surface, normal to the ramp, not against the weight. Be very careful about that. The other is tension of the rope. Suppose that you are pulling an object via a rope, a string. The rope is under, under a tension, and so this force is called tension. The other is the friction. When the objects are rubbed against each other, for instance, this box is rubbed uh, on, the, on the ground, or maybe you, are, you can say sliding over that. Anyway, a friction force is impeding the motion, opposing the motion. This is called friction. The other is upthrust. A ship is partially submerged in water, or uh, also it may be fully submerged. Doesn't matter. Anyway, there is an upward force which is called upthrust, always against the weight, upward, which is pulling the object or pushing the object upward. The other could be the drag force. Have you ever noticed that when the parachute is coming down, it, gent it gently lands on the ground? The reason is that there is a very high drag force acting on that due to the shape and the size of that. Drag force also is something you feel when you run. It's a very important force in airplane. That the object is moving faster and faster in the air. The air resistance or the drag force is getting larger and larger. This is a very complicated force in future. We will go over that in detail. Forces could be contact or non-contact. What do I mean by that? You know that um, weight is a non-contact force. But I, what we know about it is that, for instance, when the elephant is released from uh, maybe a height, it is not in contact with the earth, but it's pulled down because it's a non-contact force. It can affect the object from distance. But when you push a car, your hands must necessarily be in contact with the object. So some forces are contact forces. Friction is one of them. Effects of the force. The force can start motion, can accelerate something or speeding up that. The force can decelerate or slow down or cause stopping the object. The force could deflect the motion, change the direction of the motion, and also could deform the object. Basically, fundamental forces are just four forces. All the forces around you are a branch of them. The very basic one that I introduced is the gravitational force, which has a very famous baby called weight. The other is electromagnetic force. Almost all the forces around you, except the weight, are babies of electromagnetic force. In future, I will explain how elastic force or maybe upthrust force or friction and so forth, they are all babies of this electromagnetic force. It may not, not seem very easy to explain them, but in future you will learn them easily. A strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force are the two, the last two forces, which are uh, all uh, about the elementary particles and for the time being we, we are not going to go over them. Addition of forces. Can we add the forces? Yes, we can. Addition, I do not mean that necessarily you add them. Sometimes, yes, when the forces are have the same direction, like 4 newton to the right, 3 newtons to the right, yeah, you can say the resultant force is 7. It seems to be a really addition. 
and maybe a kind of uh, usual operation uh, about the numbers. But as this is a vector quantity, be very careful. Sometimes you add the forces, but in addition, one of them is opposing the other. So when you add them, actually you are subtracting the magnitudes. What do I mean? A rightward 4 Newton force and a leftward 3 Newton force will cancel partially each other. And so the resultant force, the addition of them, will result in 1. Yeah, I know that the magnitude of 1 is smaller than both of them. But anyway, this is also the addition. FR is sometimes called resultant force. Here, resultant force. Sometimes the forces are not on a line, but maybe perpendicular to each other. We have 4 Newton force horizontal, 3 Newton force upward uh, vertical. So uh, in this case, you should make a rectangle and then uh, draw a, a diameter of that, starting from the tail of the vector starts from the common uh, tail of these two, and then Finally, you will end it at the other uh, opposite uh, corner. This is 5 Newton based on the uh, Pythagoras theorem, you know, uh, because FR is going to be square root of 3 square plus 4 square. So it's 5 Newtons. But the cases are not always like that. So we will have a full discussion about vector analysis to learn much more complicated cases. Sometimes forces are in balance. What do I mean by imbalance? They cancel each other. Look at this object. This object is acted by a couple of forces completely against each other and equal. 10 newtons upward <clears throat> and 10 newtons downward. So they will cancel each other. So in this case, we say the forces are in balance. Sometimes they are opposing forces, but they are not, they have they don't have equal size. So they can't cancel each other so this the, the case is unbalanced the other could be like that vertically is in balance but horizontally you see this 10 newton is not cancelled by anything so as a whole the object is not in balance so this is again a case of unbalanced forces uh, let's say um, we have a set of forces a very interesting configuration in which uh, every two vectors of force are making a, an angle of 120 degrees to each other, okay? 120 and 120. In this case, we can easily prove that systematically the object uh, could be acted by balance forces. The resultant force in balance case would be zero. So FR here is zero. FR here is not zero, you know, it is not zero here. And also, let's say FR is 10. The reason is that vertically they cancel each other, but horizontally no. So horizontally, the resultant force will be 10. But in balance case, again, the resultant force is 0. This is another case which is totally balanced. Horizontally, a couple of opposite forces in equal size, they cancel each other vertically the same. So it's again balanced. Again, resultant force will be zero. If we add them up, we will get zero. And finally, this case, which is not balanced, evidently not balanced because vertically, yes, but horizontally, no. So the two forces on the right won't cancel each other. So it's again unbalanced. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Let's go over decomposition of vector and some related properties of vector analysis in the coming video. See you.